With the release of Windows 10, Microsoft released a new browser, which is known as Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge has a very good feature that it comes with an ink tool, that means pen tool. So what you can do with this pen tool, when you are visiting any web page, you can write on it. And all the files that you can open with Microsoft Edge, for example, PDF files, JPG files, PNG files, or any other kind of ebook format that you can open with Microsoft Edge, on those files also you can scribble, annotate, and finally you can save these annotative web pages or PDFs into a PDF file. Okay, and share it with your students. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use this feature of Microsoft Edge so you do not need to install any other software in order to annotate on a web page or on a PDF. So why wait? Let's start. When you are on Microsoft Edge, you can see this icon. This is Windows Ink icon. And you can see what is written here, Add Notes. Or you can also use Ctrl Shift M to activate this menu. So I click here. When I click here, you will see the menu will change. Now you will see these toolbars available with you and the name of that is also changed. You can see this icon here. Now what you can do, you have pen, highlighter, eraser, notes, snipping, use with your hand to write, saving this and exporting this option. So how is that different from OneNote, OpenWord, PowerPoint? How is that different? It is different in a wonderful way. I will show you. So I have pen selected and I can highlight anything means I can draw. I can actually write on a screen. See? Right. Isn't it good? So what happens in other softwares like Magic Pen or Open Board, it writes on top of the screen. When you move your screen, annotation doesn't move. But here, Annotation also move with the page. So it's kind of part of page now. See. So I can use this opportunity to highlight these options. So I have started reviewing the videos. If you have created a video and you have on YouTube, you can ask me to review your video and I will review it. Simply go to itimantra.com and click on this link. If you want to change the pen size, then click on this a small arrow icon and then you will be able to set the size and select a different color see I can select any color of so come here if you want to take my services on your video review see it's moving isn't it awesome so this option is actually very good if you want to teach something by simply going on a website on a web page if you want to highlight something if you want to draw on the web page itself and finally you also need to download that so for example i can write this okay so i have given instructions to my students what they have to do and after that what i can do i can save by clicking on this icon and I can select where I want to save. I want to save to OneNote or somewhere else. So I'll click on OneNote. I'll select, I'll select the appropriate page and I'll click on save. Now this is available on my OneNote page. And from there, I can export it into PDF. I can export that into, uh, I can share it with my students. So let's click on that view note. See, you can see this is available here, Home ET Mantra. So let's click here and you can see the web page that we have annotated is now available here in front of us. I, I can actually go full screen and you will see the web page along with the annotations I have made are available. Isn't it a good feature? So you do not need to worry about a software that can open web page and from where you can Annotate, you can simply go to Microsoft Edge, annotate any web page. And you already know if you are using a screen recorder, then you can record all of the writing also. Correct. Once you are done, 
you can actually add the note also let's see this feature also the tools available for teachers so this is what i have written here and this note is now saved you can see it later once you are done with the changes annotations making notes then you can save and after saving you can close this window It's asking you if you want to save your changes. This is the last change that I've made. I don't want to save it. I'll click no. And then I'll come back to my web page from where I can use my website normally. So not only this, if you want to teach using PDFs, then also you can use age to annotate on PDFs. So how you can do it? Let's first bring a PDF here. Because Microsoft allows you to open PDFs. So I'll right click on the PDF that I want to open with Microsoft Edge. I'll go to open with and I'll click on Microsoft Edge. So this is how it will open on Microsoft Edge. As you can see, this is a PDF that I created to talk about OneNote. So once you have a PDF here, you can see apart from this, you have one more tool, add note here. Okay. And there are some other options like fit to page or page view. In this page view, you have two options like this, two page layout or single page layout. So now this is two page layout. So you can set your PDF with the view as you like it. Then I can click on fit to width. I can go full screen so let's go full screen so this way pdf will be here in front of me and this small toolbar will be here from here i can click on this add note icon because i want to scribble on this pdf you will see the same menu is now available for pdfs also so highlighter then this pen eraser if you want to write with the hand then you have to select this so uh, with the pen selected i can draw anywhere on pdf see I can draw anywhere on PDF and then I want to jump to other things then I can go to other page. So it's now part of PDF. The annotation is now part of PDF. It's not that I am writing something on, on a layer. No. It, the, similarly, you were you writing on web page and it the annotation becomes part of web page. Similarly, this is part of PDF. Okay. See. So this is how you can make a video tutorial by opening a PDF book and then annotating on it, highlighting that and when your video is done, you can stop the recording or when you want to give the notes to your students with this annotated PDF, then what you can do, you can click on this save or you can print also in PDF format. As, as I click on save, this PDF is now saved with these new annotations. The PDF is overwritten. If I don't want to overwrite that, in that case, I have to use this print option and print it in PDF by selecting Microsoft PDF printer. See here you can see Microsoft print to PDF is available. Then I can simply select the option and then I can click on this print. It will ask me to save in a particular location and then, and then it will save in a PDF file. When you are done teaching with your PDF file, you can come back by clicking on this link and then you can close it. So when I closed it, you can see the original OneNote demo.pdf is now open with these options, with these extra lines which I made. See, these are available. Now you will be able to annotate PDFs and web pages easily and finally save them as PDF or images. I believe this feature will help you a lot. There are many teachers who are still looking for this option. Please share this video with your fellow teachers also. I will see you in my next video. Namaste.